Hi, I'm Eric from the Red Bearded Predators. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Tosco 8 megapixel trail camera. I've been using this trail camera for three or four years now, so I feel like I have a pretty good insight to review this camera. What are we going to talk about in this review is specs of the camera, ease of use, reliability, photo quality, and just my general opinion of the ca camera. So let's get into the review right now. Obviously it comes with the camera and it comes with a strap. Uh, in terms of what does this camera do, it takes 8 megapixel photos and 720 resolution video, has one second trigger speed, has six month battery life with alkaline batteries and 12 month battery life with lithiums. It accepts 32 gigabyte SD card or smaller. Anything bigger than the 32 bytes, it won't be compatible with that, um, with this trail camera. Um, it has a 50 foot flash range. What's the price point on this camera? It's anywhere from 22 to $45. I've seen it $45 or less on Amazon and uh, $22 at Walmart. However, when this trail camera goes on clearance, it, I believe I, I seen the range around like $15 or so on the camera. Um, what else does this camera allow? It allows for, uh, you know, you to use screw-ins and whatnot. Um, I believe it's like a one quarter inch uh, screw little slot. So if you want to use that option to mount your camera, you can do that as well. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is the photo quality. Overall, I think it does an average job. There are certain times where it does a good job, certain times where it just does a poor job taking photos. When does it do a good job? Daylight, any time an animal is within 20 feet of the camera, and any time an animal is moving very slow or walking at a slower pace. When does this trail camera struggle? Struggles at nighttime conditions, low light conditions, and any time an animal is moving with any sort of pace to it, it really tends to struggle. In terms of video, it actually does a pretty good job taking video. Um, I believe in 10 second burst. However, the trail camera does burn up a lot of battery when you're running in video mode. So if you're looking at like two or three months or less with this camera in terms of video, you could get away with that. Anything more than three months, I would consider running in photo mode. So that's what I have to say about the photo and vid video portion of the video. In terms of statistics, what does this trail camera give you? It gives you the bare bones, date and time. It gives no weather information, no temperature information, no moon information. So if you're looking for a lot of information when it comes to that, this is probably not your camera. So in terms of battery life, this trail camera runs about six months on alkalines, then 12 months on lithiums. How do they break this down? It's 30 photos during daylight and 15 photos with flash during the nighttime. My experience with the trail camera is I usually put them out in August, September, and they last through March, April, and May typically. I haven't had any issues in terms of running the camera on photo mode. Like I said, video mode does suck up the battery life on this trail camera. In terms of detection, it does a decent job getting its 50 foot range, however, sometimes it really struggles. I've noticed certain times where the leaves have been turned over and no photos have been taken, or if an animal passes by at any sort of pace, sometimes you just get the back end of an animal. So in terms of detection, it's all right. It's not the greatest trail camera out there. In terms of easy use, I don't think there's an easier trail camera to use on the market. There's not many set settings to, to fumble around with or anything. You gotta worry about one photo, three photo, and video mode. They're the different modes you gotta worry about. In terms of formatting, you just gotta worry about the date and time, and making sure that you format the card is basically it with this trail camera. So in terms of reliability, I've ran about nine to 10 of these cameras in three to four years, and I've had one take of crap after like a three month use. Other than that, all the cameras continue to work for me, um, so I consider like a 90% reliability rate pretty good. 
However, there's some precautions that I do to make sure my trail cameras work. I give them rice bass, I clean them out with uh, like cloths and um, Q-tips and whatnot to make sure that I'm getting the moisture out of these cameras. So that might have to do a little bit of why I'm seeing pretty good length of reliability on these trail cameras. I believe that this is a great value trail camera for the public land guy like myself. Um, in terms of identifying if a buck's a shooter or not, I believe it does a good enough job at that. However, if you want the highest quality photo or if you want to be identifying a buck every time it comes on camera, this probably isn't the camera for you. It also does a good job of identifying the smaller bucks, the does, and even turkeys or whatever other critters that you got roaming around. Um, and all I need is a daylight picture here and there just to see, you know, a good quality picture of a buck from time to time is good with me. And I'm basically just looking for daylight photos anyway, sometimes low light conditions it's if it's right on that brink. Um, in terms of reliability, I've been happy with it. Like I said, I've only had one trail camera take crap on me. And this trail camera's done actually a really outstanding job lasting throughout the month, especially running on lithiums. Overall, I don't have any complaints about this trail camera. Yeah, it does have its flaws, but at the same time, hey, for a $22 to $40 camera, hey, how can a guy complain? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I know this is my first ever review, I think, of any sort of product, so um, a little rough, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it and thought it was beneficial. We'll see you in the next video.